Hi everyone, Ross here from Ross McGibbon Reptile Photography. Today I'm taking you behind the scenes during a photo shoot with a highly venomous dugite. Now when I photograph reptiles, I like to use a wide angle lens so that I can show the animal in a lot of detail as well as incorporate that habitat in the background. But occasionally when working with highly venomous species, it means I need to jump back from the camera and give the animal some space. Now, I just thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pull out the iPhone and capture some of the footage uh, that you see here. Now, as the snake advances towards me, you're probably thinking, oh, wow, that snake's aggressive or, gee, he must be in a lot of danger. But actually, I'm not in much of danger at all because I can understand the snake's behavior. What he's trying to do now is he's caught in open ground, so he's trying to actually get away from me. Um, now, as I get a bit close, the snake gets a bit scared. He thinks I'm a large predator and I'm going to hurt him. So what he does, he enters into some defensive posturing, as you can see there, where he just rears up. He advances towards me momentarily, just enough for me to back off for him to feel safe. And then he tries to get on his way again. And he keeps repeating this as I follow him and capture this footage. But hopefully after watching this footage, you'll begin to understand that a snake's first intention isn't to harm you at all. It's to try and get away because they're scared of you. Next, they'll enter into defensive posturing, but that's not designed to chase you, hunt you down and kill you. Uh, they have no reason to do that. All they want to do is get away and biting you is an absolute last resort. All right, that's about all we have time for for this piece. But if you'd like to see more and learn more about snake behavior, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching and take care.